Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Yankee Oscar 6, Papa Mike X-Ray and today I'm presenting you another amplifier I just built. It's a monobender for 10 meters. I call them Druzhba, which means friendship in Russian. And of course it's built with a military Russian tube, uh, the Golf uh, India 7 Bravo. It's a metalloceramic tube able to deliver about uh, uh, 350 to 400 uh, whiskey uh, easily and uh, the maximum power possible it's about uh, uh, 500 uh, watts. The amplifier is a classical one in grounded grid uh, uh, connection and there you can see uh, details uh, from the inside with the transformers and the cooler for the cathode um, uh, region. The high voltage uh, power supply is built around uh, a microwave oven transformer uh, and uh, six uh, capacitors for, uh, uh, for filtering uh, the AC voltage. I replaced the tube uh, cooler, the original uh, tube cooler, with uh, a PC uh, cooler for a Pentium 4. Uh, monocore uh, cooler uh, which has a copper uh, core and the tube in fact is uh, is uh, mounted directly on the on the PC cooler we're starting now a test with this amplifier uh, we started the filament and the anodic voltage uh, the tube is heating in about three to four minutes, and uh, then we can uh, we can drive them. We're gonna drive them with the transceiver, the same uh, TS450 uh, that I own uh, uh, for uh, two years about now. Uh, the drive power, um, the driving power. We're gonna see it right now on the power meter is uh, 55 watts 55 watts uh, in frequency modulation um, continuous carrier so let's see what we are gonna have I'm changing the scale I'm uh, passing on 2 kilowatt scale and I'm turning on the amplifier and let's see 450 watts 450 watts again with the amplifier with uh, 60 with uh, 55 uh, drive uh, uh, at the input and now we're gonna make a test uh, uh, for uh, the heating uh, um, see how much it's gonna uh, heat uh, without cooling um, the actual uh, temperature of the anode it's 30 degrees centigrade so we're gonna start driving it uh, to obtain out at the output uh, 400 watts uh, continuous carrier and we're gonna keep it like this uh, a few minutes I think about uh, two or three minutes maybe see if uh, we really need a cooler for this uh, for this uh, kind of amplifier or not and uh, well I know already the result I just uh, wanna show it we do not need in fact uh, um, any cooling uh, system the, nat the natural uh, cooling it's uh, sufficient for this uh, for this kind of amplifier uh, we still have the 400 watts uh, and uh, we will not need the, uh, the anode cooling uh, system. I'm still having the 400 uh, watts at the output and let's see uh, what we have as temperature on the anode. We're having 40, 50, 40, 50 degrees and still keeping it on FM with 400 uh, and even more than 400 if you if you watch the power meter um, even more than 400 watts still keeping it hope the transceiver will make it
uh, you can see uh, the uh, the um, um, the dummy load you can see it inside it's hot red it's red hot the dummy load I don't know if it will resist or not I hope it will uh, I have to stop it uh, in fact uh, let's see the temperature of the anode at this moment uh, because uh, <laughs> the amplifier will make it but the dummy load not and if uh, as you can see we still have here about uh, 80, 80 degrees centigrade and the dummy load is, is uh, red hot I, I stop it because uh, I'm risking to destroy my dummy load uh, thank you for watching and remember the Golf India 7 Bravo it's a very nice tube 73 and hope to meet you on the band